Oh. Okay, guys, what's up? This is a new Euro Garage guest. His name How's is it Ian. He has a S52 E30. I don't know, like nothing, to, nothing much to say. It's S52 swapped E30, like they're dime a dozen, I guess. <laughs> it's super clean though. I really do like it a lot more than mine. <laughs> but today he's going to be helping me do the five lug on the E30. And that is a beast. I have so many parts to go over, so much things to cover, and we have to play a lot of catch up because I have not made a video in quite some time. Let's get to it. So right here, I have some brand new Solo Works coilovers. Now these are more of a budget-minded coilover, but they're complete with helper springs, full springs. They're really, really nice quality actually for the price. These run about 500 bucks and they do that by totally minimizing the amount of uh, excess bullshit marketing and things like that. They don't have all the marketing that the big companies they do. They don't include camber plates or top mounts. They don't have a, damp a dampening. They're just a, a, a no bullshit to the core coilover. And I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to see how they feel and compare to the BCs that I had on there. And then I ordered these uh, quality top mounts from FCP Euro. They have these, I can put all these links will be in the description. This is one of those things, FCP Euro, lifetime warranty on everything, all this stuff, a whole bunch of this stuff is from FCP. But those in coilovers, full kit. This is, like I said, E36 on three, rear struts, or rear shocks, rear springs, front setup, new uh, new sway bar end links, super cool. These are, I guess, shortened for the E36 M3. Uh, and another product that is really interesting that I don't think many people in the E30 community have even heard of is these. And these are caster correcting solid lollipop mounts for E30s with a five lug specific setup. So these will allow you to use your stock E30 camber arm, or control arm, while maintaining proper camber and caster. I just have some new brake fluid from SCP Euro, some braided lines from SCP Euro, all my brake discs, SCP, lifetime warranty, that's super cool. Your brake discs wear out, you send them back, you get a new set. These are Z3, I believe 1.8 or 2 liter hubs, so the six cylinder Z3, I think they're late 90s had these. These have the same splines as the E30, but they are, I think, 21 millimeters further out than the factory E30 hub, so you gain. 40 millimeters of total track width. These are obviously going to be Z3 rear hubs, or rear brakes, so they fit on these hubs. And they will take the factory E30 e-brake. I have full set of E36 M3 brakes, and these are gonna take some, some modifying to make work on the factory arms and everything. Additionally, I have new brakes, FCP Euro, all that good stuff. And then sort of a plethora of extra parts. But we're gonna try to install as much of this as we can today and see what we can get through. It's hot. <laughs> oh. You sweating yet? It's not the best or ideal because the breading's gonna get fucked up. Master 
perform in summertime because they have these damn silence here. Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. That, You got PB Blaster, I'll blast these um, nuts real quick. <laughs> what are you doing right now, Ian? I'm doing them axle bolts. Axles got to come off. <coughs> come out from here. Then we can get at this from the back to pull the hub and the bearing out. Kind of a pain in the ass, but we love it. <laughs> For sure. Okay, learn from our mistakes. We both knew to do this, but we didn't do it anyway, because who knows? Always undo the axle bolt before you take off the axle, or else you're gonna have a hell of a time. You want me to hold on to that over there? Ah! Did it strip? That was the worst way to do it ever, but I did it. Now this axle just slides right out. Yeah, come on, come on, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Axle out. Is that a good sign? Mmm, it's very, very dry in there. <laughs> Are we gonna have to open them up and look at it? See if they're good. Should they be that? <laughs> it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Is that, is that, should I be able to churn butter with it? Yeah, we can get them. It might be easier. There we go. Whoa. Not too bad, because chances of ruining, them, ruining the ends of the threads are awesome. Does it smell? What does it taste like? Did you try it? No, I couldn't get my face in there enough. <laughs> you got your nose in there though. Yeah, my nose is probably black, right? A little bit. You can take off your, oh, well that <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Okay, so in lieu of getting the real tools to remove this damn bearing, we have decided to go to Home Depot and make our own tools. Don't look like it. It's flattening the washer the other way now. I guess <laughs> I turned it around. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Dope! Oh my god! It worked! It worked! Ah! Holy mother. Should tell everybody how fucking hot it is outside. Oh, what is it, 100 or so? Almost. So we got the brand new wheel bearings. They're FAGs from SCP Euro. Good shit. A lifetime warranty, all that stuff. So if these things ever wear out, I pull them out, put them in a box, ship them, and I get a new set, which is a pretty cool program. Okay, so you just put a little anti cigs in the center. Oh boy, that's going in easy. Okay, round two. Here we go. We're pushing the bearing in very gently. Oh yeah, that's that's the ticket. Like a glove. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, well that's that's good. <laughs> oh yeah. On one race and not the other. Oh. There you go. That's. That's snug. Not too tight, so we don't beat the shit out of it. Oh my god. Okay guys, check out the difference in track width. This hub versus this hub. That is craziness. <laughs>
at that old crusty one next to the nice new one. Ugh, okay, I know I look filthy, but we're gonna install the rears and I have my SCP Euro heavy duty uh, rear strut tower mounts. Super cool construction. See, milled aluminum, thick rubber bushing, so it's not too rough. It's not like a, uh, what are they called? Spherical bearing. Those things ride so rough. And then your SolarWorks coilover comes with, I think this is just for packaging, just to keep it safe or whatever, but I'm gonna leave it on there, honestly, just as a little bump stop until I can get a proper bump stop. That is one thing I'll say about these SolarWorks coilovers is I do wish that they had a rear bellow and bump stop on here, but I'm sure they have a reason for not doing it, so I'm not gonna argue. Now, I'm not gonna tighten this down right now because it seems like it would be a lot easier to tighten down in the back of the car, so that's my plan. Let's install it. There we go. Okay. Shit. That was a that was a struggle. Gosh. Okay. So with some man handling, we were able to get this spring on there. There we go. And the sit. Now, we gotta get the jack under it. Jack it up. Put the uh, strut or shock on and put our sway, back, sway bar back together. Okay. So we'll slip it in. The mouth of the body. And then take our bolt and I I have this tow hook attachment which is pretty cool. Ah. Okay. So I just want some tension on there. What do you got going on there? Attaching them calipers. So you can put the brake pads on and then take them off again, right? Yeah, because somebody wanted to put the pads in before he took the carrier bracket off. I don't know why they don't go in. They're fit, the, the 916s. 916s. Yeah, that's what I was using on the front. Yeah. So you want to tighten them up making sure that they're flush as much as possible or else you're gonna get a leak. Balls. I'm trying to be like Salt City Euros, dude. I'm really disappointed with the content so Careful. far. Like, I understand there's... there's... Their content's better than my content recently, dude. I don't have content. Yeah, that's true because I'm trying to build up enough content that I don't have lapses during the build. Right, right, right. Because Lord knows this is- Well, yeah, but he was like fucking absentee with the E30 for fucking months, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I know. Ah, so Ian, how much do you love doing brakes? It's the best thing ever. <laughs> okay. Oh. It looks like uh, brakes are pretty much done. They're on there. We went with the E36 Ti brakes for the calipers in the rear as opposed to the M3 just for safety's concern because the shim was a little sketchy. Yeah, the shim was a little sketchy. We bled them out, changed all the lines, and uh, I think we're good. I think a five lug swap was successful. What else do we have to do? I just gotta tighten some bolts. Turbo noises. Turbo noises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you going home? 
hang out with your dog. You gotta take my dog out. So she doesn't shit everywhere. <laughs> Is there brake fluid in this? Yeah, dude. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.